what I refer to as an unforced error. It's an error. They can do what they, they've done, but this is not the way you do it. It has to be built on consensus. There are so many problems that have come up. I'm sure the party, uh, a newly elected leader, they thought they had the power and they can do this. They don't have that power. Right now, the majority is on the side of those who have been removed. When you go to parliament, the party apparatus has no, has no official power in parliament. They don't. Whatever the party wants to be done in parliament, it has to go through the MPs. But parliament is the domain of MPs, not party officials, not chairman, not secretary. That's the problem. That's the first thing they should have realized. They didn't know that. Now they see, okay, what are we going to do now that they say no? You have brought complete division into the party, unnecessary. You understand? Look, isn't it Mutaka who engineered the election of the speaker? Isn't he the one? And very quickly forgotten about all of that. Our two forces in a, in a pre precarious position. He was part of the leadership. Now you put him in front against his other senior members. How is he going to look like? And he has accepted it. First of all, you shouldn't have forced him to accept it right now. When he accepts it now, the others prevail. What's going to happen? It means in a, a lot of ways, you are a traitor. You are with us, and they say this. Instead of you telling them, hey, this is not good, you accept it. That's the problem. So they have brought up unnecessary problems. How, 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 how do they go about resolving this? It's very, very tough. Uh, they need some of the senior members to call all of them. I'm sure the best way to, would be to rescind the decision. That is the easiest way to go about it. If the decision stands, then you have brought divisions within the party, not only in parliament, in the whole country. That's the thing. These people are the face of NDC. Butaka Haruna, they are the face of NDC. How do you make this decision like that without even talking to them first? You should have called them. This is what we are thinking about because of this and this and that. And you talk it through. If it doesn't work, okay, they don't, don't implement it. If it works, then they all agree and they do it. You didn't do that. You just ambush them all of a sudden. You can't do that. The party itself doesn't have power in parliament. They don't. It's the parliamentarians who have the power. So the party operatives cannot go to parliament and tell anything to the speaker, this, this, and that, unless something the, the speaker requests the party officials to present. You understand? But anywhere in the world, it is not a political party that goes to parliament and tell them this, this is the one we want for this and this is the one we want for that. No, that opens the process to corruption. When you are MP, you are vying for seniority and leadership. So if the party apparatus can appoint whoever they want, then they, are, they can appoint their favorites. Then there will not be any peace in the party. That is the problem. Hmm. Dr. Makoba, grateful uh, for your thoughts.